eyeshadow crayon in autumn walk that sounds lovely yeah i think this is a good thing i'm just gonna use up rather than use if you know what i mean My lovely, lovely sleepy squirrel. I hope that you are all well. This evening I am unboxing this Galoria box. But before we get into unboxing the box and the products, I'm just gonna spend a few minutes making some sleepy cardboard sounds so we're all nice and relaxed before it if you just want to see what's inside the products and everything feel free to skip ahead timestamps are down below otherwise So now that we are hopefully nice and relaxed, let's have a look. So into the woods with this nice autumn theme here. And actually in the box everything is kind of greenish. This is the October box, by the way, guys. 
So yeah, scrunchie, hair serum, all comfort things for autumn. Okay, so the scrunchie I can see straight up. It's like a little satin scrunchie. It says Gloria. Um, this is the hair stuff. That's makeup of some kind. Some nail polish, and I don't know what this is. So let me just pop all this stuff to the side and we can have a look at everything one by one. Get some squirmy worm sounds before we have a look. I know some of you are going to like these sounds. These ones are a little, I want to say dandruffy, <laughs> but they're a little dusty. paper have done rough. Well, these are my Christmas nails, by the way, guys. <laughs> you probably already noticed. Okay. We are starting with this little glass bottle very much like pharmaceutical, like amber glass, the little dropper and everything. <laughs> so Old Candies, I do not know this brand at all. The packaging is giving me like homemade vibes, but not like organic -y homemade vibes. It's giving me like I printed this label at home kind of vibe. I don't know, what do you guys think? Doesn't it just look like, I don't know, somebody made it? Uh oh. Okay, so it's serum for the hair. So you don't rinse it. And no, I said, what is no, I said? Chestnut? No. Not chestnut, but the smaller ones. Darn it, hazelnut. <laughs> so hazelnut hair serum, hazelnut oil. Okay, so 29 euros for this full size. And it's supposed to give you shine without any like weighing down of the hair and without any like greasiness. And say I'm not really a huge fan of hair oils. I do like the Mira ones, but just because of the smell is beautiful and I use it really lightly. Okay. So it's a cocktail of three oils. So the um I've already forgot what noisette is. I just said it. Ah, little ones. Hazelnut. So hazelnut oil, jojoba oil, and sunflower oil. Okay, so I am going to leave this closed, nice and sealed up around here, because I don't think I would use this. I'm probably going to keep this for one of the eBay boxes, of which we have done three now, guys. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this for just because it's not the kind of thing I use. I'm not really swayed by the packaging. <laughs> I, um, I think that it's probably just a shame that their packaging is like that, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, this will be going into one of the EB boxes. What do we have next? The scrunchie, the Gloria scrunchie. Um, it's just a little scrunchie, guys. It's cute. The color is a nice kind of foresty, olivey green. I would say more towards like a dark olive rather than a forest green. Yeah. It's just a cute little scrunchy accessory. Um, they don't put a price on it. Obviously, they've just made them special just for the box. So. 
and probably pop that into one of the eBay boxes as a little extra. I like that they do little accessories like that, but I don't often use them. So satin. And then they say like there's benefits to using this kind of um, material in your hair and that it's great to attach your hair after using this oil. Although wouldn't this like be extremely susceptible to like oil stains? That's just like a bad mix for me, but you yeah, know. Unless you use it specifically as your hair oil scrunchie. <laughs> Next we have the All Tigers Nail Polish. I've seen a whole bunch of um, these nail polishes over the over the last few years. The All Tigers ones. Um, definitely only in the French specific boxes. So like the, um, the ones that are mostly only available in France. And this is in the colour Bordeaux. Night red. <laughs> so they've called it Bordeaux, which it is. It is a Bordeaux color and it's 208 Night Red. So why do they keep putting these ones in? Because they're green and vegan. Yeah, made in France, vegan, etc. Okay, so that's cute. Yeah, I've seen a whole bunch of these. Um, over the last few years. And this will definitely be getting put into one of the EB boxes because I get my nails done now. <laughs> Maybe in the future when I give my nails a nice break from like gel and stuff I could maybe be looking back into polishes but for now I just have no no need for any polishes. And let's face it, I probably have polishes for the rest of my life already. The next product is this. Oh, it looks like it's not full. Looks like it's like only two thirds full. I wonder if that's on purpose or if it's just like, well, it's not leak. Oh, there's no leakage. Oh, well, maybe the box, like the, um, it says 100 mils. That's true, that is a bit big for 100 mils, so. I guess that's supposed to be like that. <laughs> okay, so the price is twenty four ninety for this. So this must be like a full size, and it is body lotion. Okay, body milk. Uh, Lace for you. It's quite difficult to see the text. Can you see? It's like white on milky white. Almond spiruline. It does smell like lotion, but it's not very sweet. Um, it just smells like kind of cleanish lotion, even almost like a wash or something more than a, a lotion. Let me just open the lid normally so that I don't get too much when I try it. not to get any on my rings. <laughs> okay, a little goes a long way. Feels nice, feels like a nice little hydrating milk. It's very watery. And yeah, the scent is very like, I don't know, it's just very generic. It's not like a s standout scent or like a mmm, that smells nice kind of scent. Yeah, it's not really my thing. It smells like a little um, soapy, you know? I don't know, just... Yeah, it's not my thing. I might use it like on my legs or something, but I don't think I would use it on my arms and my upper body. Every day... Yeah, nothing specific. Yeah, I think this is a good thing I'm just gonna use up rather than use if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's terrible to say, but it's just not a pleasing scent to me, so that is going to be used on my legs. Okay, and 
then we have some makeup from Luna by Luna which I wonder if this is one of the products, the brands that are made specifically for beauty boxes don't know if anybody was aware of that that some brands are pretty much specifically made for these boxes um, eyeshadow crayon in autumn walk that sounds lovely um, let me just have a look it's like a jumbo crayon irisé so like it's gonna be um, like shimmery not glittery, but shimmery. Iridescent, that's the word I'm looking for. I quite like um, these kind of products, like crayons, chunky eyeshadow crayons. They're just very simple to use, just smudge it in kind of thing. Okay. I have a few things from Luna by Luna, and I wasn't really disappointed with them or anything so I don't mind if they make them just for these boxes okay should I swatch this or do you think this is something I could keep for the eBay boxes what do you think it is a lovely color isn't it hmm should I keep I probably have a whole bunch of similar crayons in my stash <laughs> to be honest um, I do want to swatch it, like I have a, a big like urge to swatch but I think I'm going to be um, frugal I guess is the word um, and I'm going to say okay this is for one of the eBay boxes it isn't sealed in the same way that I would expect like a product like this to be sealed but it is sealed in the way that it hasn't been opened you can tell it hasn't been swatched I still have the cardboard packaging I think we're gonna leave this it is a lovely color though isn't it? doesn't it look like a an olive gold? I think that's how I would describe it which is kind of like the scrunchie it's just like the scrunchie but golder <laughs> that's quite cute okay so this box has not been my favorite guys um, I did talk about my expectations from Gloria are falling, they're dropping I'm just not getting the same feel from it as I did when I first subscribed to it I have a suspicion that they changed owners at some point and um, since then I have got different vibes and I'm not as interested in the products and stuff and the design and things like that um, one or two of you actually um, put comments saying that you actually agreed with me and that you kind of saw the difference too so that means I'm not crazy <laughs> that's cool <laughs> but yeah I I, um, I do have that feeling for example in this box the only thing I actually like is this I would say that like the hair serum is cool but it doesn't sound amazing like the scents are probably not going to be something I'm interested in it doesn't talk about the scents at all um, so it's not something I would uh, use I like the mirror stuff, things like that the scrunchie is fun I probably would never use it but it's very cute the nail polish is not something I'm looking for at the moment the milk body milk just is a bit blah yeah the scent is just a bit like eh. <laughs> um and the, the eye crayon I actually really like the look of I just I already have a few so you know but if I didn't have any products already I would probably be liking this and the nail polish if I wasn't getting my nails done um and that's probably 
but yeah what do you guys think should i stay subscribed to gloria for next year i've already received my november box and i'll probably be getting my december box and then um hopefully i think in january i'll make the decision whether i'm going to keep subscribed to this one or not because you know it does cost money um but i'll need to look because I think I subscribe for like the year to have like a, a lower price so I'll see if that's possible for me to to cancel in January or not so yeah guys what do you think would you be sad to no longer get the Gloria unboxing videos or would you not miss it that much in the way that there are the glossy box ones the blissing ones my little box that sort of thing. Um, I have resubbed to the French box. I don't know if you guys remember Beautiful Box, so I don't know if I'll be doing French videos for that or English videos with the French products and stuff. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so whatever I decide to do, well, let's just say that this has been great for ASMR sounds at least. <laughs> Um, so yeah, whatever I decide to do, I'll obviously let you guys know. But for now, let me choose one of these products for the middle for our sleepy outro. Blanket scrunchy outro. Okay. So I obviously chose the little scrunchy scrunchy. <laughs> the middle of a scratchy outro. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. That you found it relaxing and special. Maybe a little interesting to see how Gloria did this month. you are looking for any more content, there is always my No Talking channel. If you like a little ASMR in the background when you're working, or reading. And my thrifty eBay channel, which is also ASMR. And if you just want to support this channel and have some extra chatty videos, you can pop over to Patreon. We're about 230 at the moment. When I hit 500, I'm going to make this my full-time job. So I'll be able to put more time into over 100 videos that I've already done over there. Ad-free Patreon exclusive videos. And you get to participate in all the polls and the suggestions, the horoscope videos, the book club, all sorts of fun stuff. And if that's not something you are able to do or something you're interested in, you can always just like this video and watch my videos and comment. Any engagement helps this channel out a lot. And if you made it to this point in the video without falling asleep, I would like you to put an olive <laughs> emoji in the comments. Now, I don't know if an olive emoji exists, so if you can't find an olive <laughs> emoji, something green, put something green, like any green emoji into the comments. You can be creative. Um, and just pop that in with your normal comment, or if you are too sleepy, then just 
just pop the little emoji by itself I hope that every single one of my sleepy squirrels are well. Wherever you are in the world, whatever's happening around you, I hope that you can find your own. Lovely.